John David, the stewardess on the American flight, said, you always wear your face on your cup. <laughs> I said, I'll never bring this cup again. I'll let them fix take it again, but <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I was in Austin, Texas, and a guy said, I was at a hotel, and he goes, oh, sweet, who's on the cup? And I was too embarrassed to say me, and I went, and he went oh, it's Willie Nelson, awesome. <laughs> Yeah. So that's a young Willie, and I was like, "Oh yeah, big no, fan, a young Willie, giant big, fan." Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we're rolling. Man. Okay, welcome yeah. yeah. back. Yeah. Continuing yeah. with guests from past Duck Dynasty episodes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sai got oh. his, Sai got his <laughs> mic pointed. Well, no, no, way. I had to drink oh, me some tea, gosh, boy. Easy. He's back. Uh, well, hey, I had to drink me some tea. Easy. The people ask for okay. it. Hey, He's it, got a headset a on. Uh, I got a headphone, boy. Hunter, turn that down. Is there a way to turn that uh, down? Thank yeah. you. Turn it down a little bit. Size on a roll. We got Willie. He I was come talking in hot, soft boy. when he was all in that straight jacket, and then when he opened it up, That's right, boy. now he can the, breathe. The volume now I can breathe. <laughs> si, what size shirt is that? Uh, mm. it's, it's one size too small. Yeah. My my hey. house, medium. Size. My housekeeper. My housekeeper did not get the correct size. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's uh, a new shirt. You, you have your yeah. housekeeper buying your clothing. Well, no, she wanted for my birthday. Oh, for the for birthday your, gift. For the birthday. For oh, the yeah. birthday. So the woman that washes your clothes doesn't know what size you are. Well, hey. Well, well hey. That's, <laughs> that's it. Just a good. <laughs> well, man. Well, no, no. Look at tag, lady. Well, hey, look. That's why it her Marty observes things like that. It may be a gag shirt. Who uh, knows? It's good looking. Well, <laughs> it could be. We, hey, did you have a good? Oh, it's not even your birthday yet. No. But yet, I was just at your party. I know. Yeah. No, we always have it early. When you're 75, you got to go early. Just hey, you know, everything's <laughs> early. You realize I was scheduled to not be here, and I moved my flight, everything, just so I could be at just your you could birthday be my birthday. Well, hey, I appreciate that, nephew. Did y'all end up playing cards? Uh, yeah. Later? Not there? Off-site? No, it was at, at Scotty Robs. Okay, I got you. Did you win? No. Nope. Shocker. Anybody nope. buy you in? I gave your first buy in. Oh, no. They gave present. me a whole bunch of buy in. <laughs> oh, that's why he didn't win. He was playing on somebody else's. That's right. Uh, hey. No, it's the same. Whether it's his money or house money, it doesn't matter. It's all. <laughs> He's right there. Well just put it a match really to matter. it, boys. Uh, hey, all we do is just we all change it, change it. It's like a, a, a merry-go-round. I like the way he. How come I they like always? He, but I like come, he thinks like that. I'm about to say, how oh. come they always skip you? Uh, oh no! <laughs> Yo, I get my share every once in a while, boys. Hey, don't worry about it. So I right? get his share every so, once in a uh, while at some point during the night. I, you know? <laughs> oh no! I always have a big stack every night. That's yeah. true. I will. That is I'll true. give you that. You at some point you do have a. Big well, night. hey, look, these boys have never understood why I go. Why I told them if they ever make me mad and make it about taking the money to home. It's over. It's over. It's over. Why? Uh, because I, then I, you gonna I, be a turtle? I, I'll win every time. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if they ever make me mad. Well, then can I challenge you for like a two week battle of it being about the money? Hey. It's the money. I just want to see if you can do Well, it. no, because hey, hey, to do that. Okay, you've got to really irritate me bad. Okay. Okay, and those few people that have done that. If have you, you gotten irritated them, at the poker table? I, yeah, they they'll tell you. Oh, you don't want to. You don't want to irritate to the point. Like the incredible. That, hey, it's super about skinny, the money. incredible Hulk. Not, have I ever irritated you at a poker table? Uh, much at a poker game. Yeah, your luck does. I'm just uh, you and Jace both. <laughs> your luck does. Y'all have never outplayed me. What'd you find about the ir- what'd you find irritating about him when he won or when uh, he went to the couch? Well, no, no. Uh, when he, what well, he does? Yeah, his corner of the rhythm, couch. His little his, man. <laughs> rhythm, get in the way. Well, yeah. I like I like getting in that gray matter side. I like walking around up in your head. There ain't much oh, up there. Uh, <laughs> I used to walk live. around, oh, look no. for stuff. Look. There's like old broken you know, things in bull, there. Bull says it's the best, okay? When we play poker, okay, you're not going to get that kind of entertainment nowhere else. That's true. You could not pay someone right. to have that kind of entertainment. Hey, and luckily, but I kind of get paid for it. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's like I <laughs> luckily get, you pay them to be there. That's they the, didn't get that's the, the entertainment. Cool Andy's the entertainment. Uh, hey, when I lived at the old old house, 
<laughs> Which one's that? Brownlee. The go. one that was down there by the chicken. There you go. Chicken by, down by the chicken coop. The yeah, one that had down. This is probably hey. the greatest play I've ever made in the my life. The one that has skid marks going up the drive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, so this was his, you had to go down a big hill first to get in this house. Everybody came down happy. Yeah, everybody came they down were happy. Wide was, open mouth. There was no black marks on the on the concrete. <laughs> At the end of the evening, oh, everybody was unhappy, and there were all kinds of skid marks on the. Oh, but man. I'll say this: I took it all the way down to the light. Every card is out on the table, and I made a bet, and I got Cy to lay down aces, pocket aces, and I had nothing. Best play yeah. I've ever made, and it was probably twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He had to put everything he had at the table on the table in. Yeah, and so I said no. That's one though. Well, I think I'll fold them. And you, well, you know the biggest difference. That's that's when the money mattered to Cy. Yeah, like that was the light bill. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't. No, I, would, the I best, wouldn't let the man live in hey, the dark the, for the more than a month. Time, <laughs> the yeah. time, though, my uncle, for crying we out. would come. Okay, my uncle. <laughs> And it's like it's like two a.m. And we'd have to jump him off to get him out of the driveway. <laughs> no, no, it's like two a.m. in the morning. Nothing okay, good. we've been playing and just screaming and jumping up, kid with each other, and and we woke the lady of the house up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet. And she comes in and says, "Okay, you know, buy me in. Yeah, <laughs> buy me, me in, in for two hundred. You know, so he goes around looking behind pictures and everything else." <laughs> All over the house. All my under, hidden money. Yeah, under the pillows, on the couch. You know, finally comes up with $200 and gives it to the banker. Yeah. Gives her $200, and two hours later, we're all leaving the house there broke. There was, Story has gone back to bed There was all the money. With some money. There with was the always money. a Benjamin behind that family portrait uh, by the TV. I, I keep there was always a Benjamin. If y'all are wondering where I'm at at Willie's funeral, it's just going to be searching be different my, weird spots in his house. house. Weird little... All the coffins. Oh. It's, the the it's the squirrel in me. It's the squirrel in me. That way you're surprised when you find it. Like, oh, man, I forgot I had this. <laughs> Well, that is well, a good I, he, he made the rule one time. You know, I'd bust out and get up to leave. And Philip said, hey, I need to talk to you, man. He'd come out. Philip would come out and give me 200. You know, and I'd, I'd wait 30 minutes in the truck. And I'd tell him, guys, I'd come walking in showing him $200 bill and say, guess what I found in my truck? Mm-hmm. You know, so he made the rule. Nobody gets to give Uncle Si any money. You know? Because I'd always come back and then I'd leave with all the money. Hmm. Always. Hmm. That sounds like one of them side tales. Yeah, one of them yeah that, that one's just a little. Nine percent I mean, you do remember I was there for all of those games, yeah, right? Mark, I only recently quit we, playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I went away with the money a lot. Uh, you, you, mm, yeah. Yeah, not not quite <laughs> how I remember. Was in high school. Yeah, I was in I was well was college, mid college. College. Yeah, those twenty dollars mattered to me. And I was like, man, well, he that's got tough. busted. Out. He couldn't leave. Huh? We, we would say no, no. Yeah, you on the clock, buddy. Oh, I <laughs> back in. You on the clock. I did it one time. I did the cardinal sin of I went to the ATM. It was oh. like I went to the ATM. I was like, man, this just. And I won. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just but can't just keep happening. 95% of people that made the ATM run yeah, didn't, didn't came forget, back I and left. about the ATM. Yeah. There's a lot of guys that took off and back 30 minutes later. Yeah. Straight from the ATM. Yeah. Straight <laughs> them, them crisp 20s, man. Mm. <laughs> and then they'd be out of them pretty quick, too. And uh, Charlie was the best one. Oh. Charlie had, had won about, oh, a thousand and already cashed out. No. Had his money in his hand. No, no, no. He hadn't. No, he hadn't officially cashed out. He stood up, stood and up, said, "I'm out," and had it counted. And he started. Yeah, he had he his had money. I thought counted. he had his money. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. He uh-uh. counted it up, and uh-uh. he was ready to take the cash. I was dealing. I was sitting right beside. And him. I threw him two cards. And they happened to be. And he looked down at yeah, it. And which this is the worst be. tell. He's standing up, saying, "I'm leaving." And then he sat back down and said, I guess I'll play this hand. So I knew he had a good hand. <laughs> and I didn't have a good hand, but I knew pocket, he had a good hand. It and was I pocket knew queens. He had pocket uh, queens. And uh, then once the hand was over, he was able to then get up and leave. But he didn't no have to money. count. <laughs> he didn't have to count his money. He lost all his money on It that was hand. all in the middle. <laughs> and I was sitting in between him and the door. 
And I was like, oh. and then all you heard was you oh, heard you, you heard his car door slam, the engine crank up, and then <laughs> he was headed to O'Banion's to win it back playing gone. pool, baby. He Oh, man. We can tell some seedy tales about this oh, town. Man. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's it from the Duck Car Room. Thank yeah. you all for tuning in. And <laughs> we I got like four not, more I'm not the announcer. That's right. Uh, well, yeah, we got four more. That was just an unexpected one. That was just memory lane. intro. That was fun. But, yeah. hey, we'll be back right after this. Let's take our first That break. was just the intro. John D., you got any time on your hands today? For what? I just wonder. I mean, you small really. business owner now. You ain't got much time on your. I hands. ain't got a lot of time. I, let me tell you what you. Sh- when I leave here, I'm going straight back to work. Oh, so you're not going to the post office? Oh no, no. You know what? You know what? The what? mail lady came by this morning. She already picked it up. Um, and I look forward to seeing her every day when she comes. Because you scheduled a pickup with our friends over at Stamps.com. You never have to go to the post office again. You can That's do it exactly what we do. You can do it all from the comfort of the Honey Hole Superstore, or you can do it right here like we do at Duck Commander, Buck Commander, Strut Commander, Fin Commander, Spoiler Alert. We're all in the same building. We all use Stamps.com. So Stamps.com. That's it's be- a great thing. It makes it easy. The cool thing is with the money you save, you can give the person that works in shipping and packaging a raise. That's me. There you go. You can give yourself a raise because of the time and money you save with stamps.com i had a weird one the other day i couldn't figure it out and i was like man how am i going to ship this but i went to stamps.com i was like well this is easy and i just picked the, the right one for me because it wasn't the cheapest because i want to make sure my tracking number and all that yeah. were there for my customer they got it they were happy they called me and said i got this today already i was like hey they picked it up they deliver that's, Boom. that's what they do with stamps.com all you need is a computer and a printer they even send you a free scale so you'll have everything you need to get started if you need a package pickup like Johnny D did this morning, schedule it. They come get it from you. If you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart. And look, we all know running businesses aren't cheap, especially when it comes to fulfilling orders for your customers. Luckily, Stamps.com has huge carrier discounts with up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Plus, they automatically tell you the cheapest rate. It, it chooses it for you. It's that simple. Cheapest, Save all best, the money. How many days? Tracking, non tracking, insured, non insured, whatever you want. They got it. And they'll tell you the exact price you're going to pay right then and there. That's exactly right. And look, over 1 million businesses have used it. So you know it's legit. You know it's the way going to, to work. go. Set up your business for success when you get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code DUCK for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage. And a free digital scale, no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code DUCK. We're back, boss. It's good to have you here. Look. What's up, guys? You you missed uh you missed our good buddy Mountain Man in here the other day. He happened to be in town I as I saw him. No, I saw him at Sai's birthday yeah. party. Yeah. He actually sung. He right? what? Yeah, he actually sang, sung, yeah. sung, sang, yeah. sang. Uh, and I don't remember if it was what one, two, or maybe ten songs since it oh. took him so long. <laughs> I didn't think the song was ever going to get over. Side, do you like Mountain Man? Uh, yeah, oh, Mountain right. Man's a cool dude. Hey, I just had hey, it. No. Wow. I was just wondering. Him, I love Mountain Man. Hey. We're wondering if like the weird people like each other. <laughs> Or you're just like your own well, like, hey, individual look. oddity person, or do y'all like hang I mean, out? Are y'all like the zebras in the well, or the ostriches in the It's funny giraffe? you ask that because hey, I've never remembered, you know, from childhood, from infancy, there's always been a bunch of weirdos at the Robertsons' homes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're like a magnet for them. It's a. Uh, for strange you people. You say we. Which, which side are you on that? Like, are you the weirdo side oh, or the hey, Robertson side? Hey. Or both. both. Or, bo- or, both. or both. Yeah, both. Yeah, both. Are those mutually of exclusive of one hey, another? <laughs> y'all got a, like, a weird magnet for strange humans. Oh, you no. You got it, too. Hey, no, no. You got it That's bad. why I said the Robertson uh, family. And I, I'll I'll take full credit hey, as y'all, being y'all one y'all of are those. some of my collectibles. So <laughs> like, like you're, you're the I'm one. in on that whole little <laughs> list of weirdos. <laughs> well, no, he kept enough of us normal oh. ones around to make the weird ones not seem so bad. Like, I'm somewhere in between, probably. Well, I was told because there's no such thing as normal. Well, first, and I wonder if I have a friend list that's going. Wait a minute, my. Well, let me. No, they wouldn't be listening. To yeah, normal. Yeah, the ones that we're talking about wouldn't be. Maybe, normal. maybe Speaking normal is normal. wrong. Stable is maybe the word I was looking for. About eight years ago, <laughs> Willie and Corey got in a big argument on is Willie normal, and he was like, "Of course, I'm normal." 
Was it? Was that the question? Yeah, it was n- over the word normal, and you were like, you looked at me, and were like, John David, I'm normal, aren't I? And I was like, uh, I'm totally normal. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Does being an eccentric really? not make you normal? You different, bro. I'm no, I would I'm say the most normal person ever. Like the most no- uh, You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Willie Robertson quote boring. the most normal I just person. said normal, like a normal. That's why I said. That's why I made the statement. Boring. There's no such thing as normal. I'm trying to think of who I would classify as the most normal person ever, then compare you to them. That's yeah. Uh, normal guy. Yeah. Like you, you're normal? Yeah. What yeah. are you going to come no, up I with? No, I know I'm weird. No, I know I'm a nerd. You don't and think you're normal? He he knows that I, I, he can I, go I, get a snake out of his well, uh, drain pipe right now. The of normal is. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I, – I, I obsess over goofy things, so I don't think – I think that takes me out of the normal category. People like call me needing to know not. plants and animals and like there's just stuff that, that it. That, I mean, you're smart. I mean, you can be. Smart. Well, but you see. But, yeah, but all that is. But is I nerd out. Thing. There's a difference between being smart and then like actually go like doing what I do with no. it. Like taking seeds out of ducks' gizzards and growing them in a pot just so I can mm. see what they're eating. That's like too, that's. I, well, no, no. That's too far. That's, no, what, ain't, no, that's ain't. what I'm saying. No, it ain't. That's actually smart. And this confirms that it's well, weird. Right. Like, no, I'm it aware. Weird. Like, I said, it's, yeah. no, it no, ain't man, weird. That's, that's normal. Like, no. No, I, I understand it's not. No, no, because my when you said that, a vivid picture popped up in my head. Uh-oh. You know, we're on Dalt Lake Darbone. Oh, when, boy. When I was in college with Phil, Tommy and Harold and, you know, the whole family, my nerds. But anyway, How big was the boat? You know, hey, he throws the first cast, catches about a pounder. As soon as he reels him in, he grabs the fillet knife that he had stuck in the boat and fillets it right quick. And then you see him cutting the stomach and he's going through it with a knife. And then the next time he said, hey, reel it on in. Boom. He cranked that 20 horse mercury up and down the lake we go. He said, I said, what, what were you doing? He said, seeing what they was eating. And he said, and I know where a bunch of it is. So, hey, we run down there. He shuts the motor off, and then we caught about, oh, fill the 62-quarter uh, cooler up. With bath. Not normal. And, what do you mean not normal? It's just not smart. Hey, this <laughs> segment brought to you by what is Honey it? Hole Outdoors. <laughs> uh, the, we have a human billboard right here. And, uh, so if you want to catch good <laughs> oh, fish, open thing. up the guts and look at what's look in what them. Look what he's seen. Where that is. Go there. Artificial bait. Hey. Honey Hole, right? Hey. Uh, honey Hole. Well, right. Willie calls me a billboard because I always am wearing my work uniform. This man's got both go. of his logos tattooed on his arms. And wearing another one right in the middle yeah. of his chest. <laughs> so I'm at two and you're at three. And Could you can buy go, this shirt this online is the shirt at DuckCommander.com. Speaking of, I'm I'm Turn your cup around and show it. What? It's got your own. Red, white, and blue, man. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> the other red, side's white, got his own America. face. Hey, don't like that's America just for either. him to, to look at it once while and know what he looked like. He's got his own face on his cup. That's right. He keeps and you've got your name on yours. That's so. right. That's to remind me who I am. Uh, I got a very yes, nondescript forget. bottle here. None of us are normal. <laughs> no, no. I think I, I that's don't. where we're at. I think if we were, you wouldn't We've have a microphone. We've decided none of this foursome is normal? No way. Mm-mm. I still feel like I'm. Well, you got to come up. Gotta get my, 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 <laughs> yeah. get you. Not normal. We got to get that man a straw. No. <laughs> okay. The, the, you got to define what, normal. What is the definition? That's just like you have to. In, okay. To settle this, we'll go. Okay. First, you got to. I mean, is Godwin normal? Usual, typical, or expected? Define. Normal. Usual. Define typical, same. unusual, untypical, <laughs> non very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you do throws me for a loop. So I think that, I think we're there now. That I'll say this: those the the antonyms of what you just said, the unusual and all that, definitely describe his cooking. Yeah, like unexpected. What is in the? Oh, oh I was What's not. Ex- most- I was not expecting that. <laughs> Well, he's like, I'm totally well, normal. Hey, we got you a few ribeyes shipped over from Japan for Christmas. What'd you do with them? I uh, <laughs> melted them in gravy and put them in a roast. No, uh, made soup. 
I, that's normal. I hate soup. Just a normal everyday like guy a, thing. I feel like I'm ahead of the game on that one. <laughs> Like, I still feel like I'm an innovator. I figured something out, right? Like just put the better meat in whatever it is. And so, it'll... are you in fact a Renaissance man? Well, then? <laughs> <laughs> Little inside, I know. Oh shoot! <laughs> are you a Renaissance man or a jack of all trades? <laughs> oh, then why is it? What then? All right, Martin, you're a unnormal, super yeah. smart guy. Why is it that I feel I'm normal? Because I think that level of normal is all self. It's a self definition of what normal is. You feel I feel normal, but I know if I look back at myself, I am not. If I'm looking at me from the outside, I'm like, no, that cat ain't normal. I mean, just you think you're normal because you were raised by Phil and Cy. Si. <laughs> and you're like, oh, way more normal than those guys, which, and a, you know, pack, of, and a pack of dogs. Well, maybe that's why we surround ourselves with such eccentric characters. <laughs> so that you feel a little like, well, I'm better than him. Right. Like, do it. I'm, I'm, right. hey, I'm better I'm, off than that cat. I took a shower three right. times uh, this week. Yeah, Must I'm be smart. normal. Hey, I'm a C plus man. I'm smarter than half of them. Yeah. See, there you go. Hey, there you go. Where you so at some point, though, you're pulling out of your body and you're looking at yourself. You, or like just you're able to cup. do that and then understand that you're not normal. <laughs> yeah. But inside your when your when your brain is inside yourself, you feel like you are normal. I think so. Yeah, I think that I think everybody would agree with that to some extent. As long as you're being yourself, you just think that's normal. Mhm. Mm that is that is what normal is cuz your is definition I'll say this, of, you're being yourself every time I'm ever around you. I'm like, "Hey, that's just Willie. That's just what he does." Yeah. <laughs> so it's normal for you. The you rest of us. You know, even though y'all have enlightened me some, I still feel like I'm normal. And that, as you should. Cuz you're yourself, man. Yeah. I'm nobody else. Normal dude, man. I you just a good old country boy. Normal. Just uh, normal. No, people. Well, that was the other thing was country boy, redneck. That that was another argument. What was was I redneck? That was one. Yeah. For sure. And I well, I was like, well, yeah, I, but then there were some Oh, on didn't y'all no, had the you're not redneck. Y'all you know. had the discussion over who was more bougie, didn't you? Like you were Corey. Wasn't that, <laughs> wasn't that part up like the, Oh yeah. No, she's oh what was a high maintenance. High maintenance. High well, maintenance. Hey, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, big dog? Well, you don't right. work for him anymore. Oh, that's right. That's right. You don't work for me. <laughs> you can. You can. High maintenance. Neither one of y'all work for him anymore. Y'all can talk with uh, with full. You're open, not high maintenance. You're just enthusiasm. Eccentric. <laughs> Sorry, are you high maintenance? No. <laughs> you eat. You order your steak medium plus. That answer is yes. <laughs> There's yeah. a basic scale of how you order a steak. Medium, medium plus is your own word and own two. Well, he actually so. says medium plus. One hundred percent. I will let him. Hey, that? I'll let him and, define it for you. Hey, and a chef in New York City told me that there's no such thing. That chef was said, also hey, learned the I first rule of customer service. Cook. Yeah, and he works. He's he's in New York City. He's mm. supposed to know what to talk about. Yeah. So I would guess medium, but a little more done than medium, but, but not, not medium, medium well. not no. medium well. No. Okay. No. Not that I'm, I'm wrong. No. Yeah, you're oh, wrong. Okay. Because you brought up I'm just guessing, you, bro. I don't you know what you're done. doing. You brought up the bad word, done. Right. It ain't done. Medium plus is light pink in the middle. Light. With no blood. With no blood. With no blood. No blood, boys. If you mash it with a fork. All no right. blood. The rest stuff don't run. Do you want when you mash it with a fork? Do you want anything? No. Coming the out. Juice. Nothing. The juice. Well, but it ain't blood. Juice, but not blood. That's right. Hey, that's when it's the great mystery. Plus. Normal though. This normal. It guy. is normal. And not high maintenance. Hey. And don't you dare put an egg I'm on his BLT. Oh my goodness <laughs> hey. gracious! That was a debacle. Martin. What up, player? This porch is getting expensive. This what? Porch. Porch. Oh. I need like it's just been wild. I thought you said Porsche. I was like, well, they come. No, they I didn't come buy a Porsche. I just needed to redo the boards on my porch, and lumber's higher than a cat's back, as Stone would say. Well, it is that. It's higher than a giraffe's rear end too. But you know what can help you out with that? No, but I need some of it. Our friends over at Dave, you can get up to five hundred dollars instantly. So if you need to buy like three boards in today's world, that's right. All you're you good. got to they say is, "Oh, Dave, I, I need the help. I'll take it." I need money well i tried uh, that but my dad's name's dave and he said no 
Um, Long Dave. Plus, his interest rate's probably a little bit higher. So, so tell me about this, Dave. <laughs> oh, our friends over at Dave have set you up to give yourself help. Like, I mean, you can help yourself every month with our friends over at Dave. Look, we've all had times where we've struggled. Maybe you um, were paycheck to paycheck. Maybe you were worried about paying your light bill, your cable bill, something. Things happen. Life Maybe something happens. costs way more than you thought it would. Who knows? That's exactly right. Life happens, and there's... You know, you just have to deal with it. So our friends over at Dave are here to help. Look, Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. With Dave, there's no interest, late fees, or credit check. That's more money to fill your tank, get your car repair, catch up on bills, all without having to wait for the next paycheck. Look, you can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief that they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you we've all been there look when i started a duck commander k robertson hand me a check on monday said don't cash it till wednesday that's bad enough she held it from friday to monday then she's struggling out there in a couple other days so if k would have known about dave maybe we could you know got our stuff on time but that's just part of it look it happens everywhere life happens that's why dave's here to help download the dave app from the app store right now or go to dave.com slash duck that's d-a-v-e dot com slash duck sign up for an extra cash account and get up to five hundred dollars instantly for terms and conditions go to dave.com slash legal instant transfer fees apply banking services provided by evolved bank and trust member fdic you got new ports hey you can't hide that money can you Hey, you can't hide money. <laughs> it's an interesting time of year to spend it, though. On the back porch is new? Oh, I've ripped up my front porch, added on to the back porch. Rebuilt the little. I don't the little, that way anymore. I don't see Rebuilt the little walkway between the garage. Yeah. And now that everybody's, everybody's been his, rebuilt. His nine-year-old son calls it a dump. That's a different <laughs> story. I got to walk through that. I mean, I guess I can walk, but you could, maybe I'll drive. On stones, way over to dump all the turtles in our pond, you could come visit. Is that where he put them? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stone's sitting right there. Well, they're going to walk right back over. That's I tried a, to tell that's him That's a that. terrible idea. I, th- I didn't know where he was. No, he thought it was hilarious. Then. He's like, guess what I did? I took 87 turtles out of Willie's pond and put them in Jace's pond, and I just sat here for a minute until it dawned on him that, while well, yes, I'm on the other side of it, but that's still too close. They need to go like down to fields. There it is. There it is. We'll you, we'll let you relay that message. <laughs> now I can come catch him out of my pond. Or I tried pond. to get him to clip a toe on him to see just how many of them that's are right. coming back. He said something about like two hundred eighty nine is no, what he's weird. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you I'm not normal. He's some kind of weirdo. I'm not normal. Not I'm normal. telling you, that's I like the just coming. I out like in. that kind of tracking stuff. Yeah, I'm right. not normal. He was gonna cut their toes off. Just. You marking them. You just lop it off. Marking them. Like, it's just get a have sharpie, to, man. <laughs> no, you you can't keep track of them. And plus, then yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, I would like paint. I've them tried. on the back of them. Like, yeah. I'm back. And Willie would have spray painted that same thing that's on his cup on hey, the back of everyone. Yo, of those. Hey, grew up, grew up spray painting box turtles Doesn't just so I could mean. see if I could find them in the yard again. Guess what? Everyone I ever found was flipped over because he was no longer camouflaged in a coon guy. But I mean, this. So. Ah, good point. Good <laughs> those, point. Like, those turtles like travel. Oh, yeah. There's that one was. that goes from your parents to my, but he's a giant one. He, every yeah. year I see him do the little trek. You yeah. Know? Probably yeah. nested Just too in between little. there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a They're long walk. They're not very walk. quick. But he does. He, he, like, once a year, he'll travel all the way across the yard. Coming winters in your pond. Mm-hmm. Goes back to big days for the spring. <laughs> Goes back so to big Jay days for the... catches him, and he's going to put him over in Jason's pond. <laughs> and then he'll really be flipped upside down. He's not going to know how to yeah, get Well, back. you're you're a uh, almost marine biologist. Does... <laughs> it's <laughs> does, a titleist. Does he... Do um, you think they'll stay there, though? Will no. they? I mean... No. Why not? Well, I mean, what's the difference? No. It's what? even bigger. It's like a bigger. There's not enough room. There's, there's already a billion turtles yeah. in that pond. It, they like. They're looking for I food. Mean, they're looking for I food. See turtles. There's like, as long as the log is, it's full of turtles. Yeah. But if you get, you know, Stone ain't even looking at what they are. So if you go put a bunch of males in there and there's only one female, well then the other males gonna take off walking. Like they, they're here to eat and yeah. reproduce. And my friend Mario's. They're very gonna normal. do whatever that takes. Turtles are very normal. Very normal. <laughs> They're a little slow. But We've had normal. a ten-minute conversation on turtles. Not normal, guys. <laughs> See, I, not normal. I, I, Neighborhood well, turtle only because wars. We were relocating turtles. So. Not normal. 
Stone said, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's what, he, that's what I got him. He said, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't shoot guns. There's too many houses around there. I said, well, just put a hoop net out with some sardines. You'll catch every one of them. Knowing doing. that is not normal. Right. <laughs> you I shouldn't know it. that. I saw the little thing. And yeah. So, but it is fun. It is. I found it very interesting. I really did want him to track them and see how quick they come back because they're coming back. Oh, yeah. They're not, I mean, they're going to take I off can't walking. I can't believe that he put those right there. If you want to keep them at Johnny D's house, you're going to need to invest in them, a fish feeder, and mm -mm. some fish food, and then they'll all just stay there because they got plenty of food then. Nope. But, they know where the food's at. Yeah. They, they're, they're, coming back. they're well aware. The food's on a timer. <laughs> <laughs> you can never catch a fish when that happens, though. It's weird. No, I've caught one. Can't do now they're like piranha. They're right, right, right. That's because ain't turtles everywhere. They ain't having to worry about them. Well, they're on their way back. <laughs> There's 87 of them in Johnny D. I told him to start putting them in Jace's pool. The that is funny. <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> the turtles move at night or in the day, or does it matter? I don't Both. think they care. Both. Yeah. Slow and steady. They got to get there. <laughs> Just wins the race every time. <laughs> Didn't know. I'll, it's the time of year though where it rains they'll be out trying to make a nest when the ground gets soft so little mm. turtles will be here before we know it it's fun and that's turtle talk uh, <laughs> welcome to turtle talk welcome to turtle talk with martin hey man i used to catch them all the time we take you them. do know a lot about turtles yeah we take them to to school and oh excuse me <laughs> um we take them to school and then dr carr would give them a little shot and make them lay their eggs and then they became ninjas. And then we incubated them. That we really incubated like the pizza. eggs and hatched them, and then we'd go return the hatchlings to where they were from. So, like, I was big into box turtles. Still am. Love box turtles. Did you ever, like, my favorite turtle by put a far. rat in charge of them? And they got, they got, them. Oh. no, but they did love pizza. So that's where we're getting. They it. got a, oh, <laughs> or, they like to hang with the wrong, wrong crowd. Who? Box turtles. Oh, yeah. You, well, you, you on them gopher tortoises talking about the rattlesnakes yeah. and everything. Yeah. That's their tenant. Box turtle, pretty cool. Little rascal. Rattlesnake. It's more of a Michelangelo guy. And we Box are really nerding out. Rattlesnakes are friends. Oh, that's they live together in the same burrow. Yeah, you didn't know that. Totally normal thing no. to know. <laughs> Did they strike and then they like? No, they get along up. fine. They get along fine. They best don't mess friends. with each other. They don't mess with each other. A very symbiotic relationship. Yeah, it's crazy. So Sorry. when I found that out, now. Have you witnessed this, or is like you read it somewhere? Or no, no, I read it. Oh, you read it. I had a show on it. All right, to get out of where we're at, because we could go down this road for forever. John D., you Why said, you had, you said before we started you yeah. had some questions. Yeah, you didn't send them to me beforehand. No, no, I just had a question for Willie. Yeah, uh, what is it? But I felt like I should have thrown this up there. Well, hit me. The more you know. Okay. Um, Is the bandana back? Is it on? It, is it back? If it's on, it's back. That, that was really my only question. Oh, uh, you, yeah, I've started. Um, yeah, I'm wearing it a little more now. I'm working it back in. Working it back in the right. My thing. hair's long. Is it? Long. It's, it's it longer in the back. Well, truth be told, my wife hates it. And so she was thinking, like, that was the end of it. The only way she would see it is, like, looking at this. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying it. Watching her just like having to deal with it again. <laughs> so y'all compromised and you're just going to let the back get long and keep the there's, front kind of short? There was no compromise. <laughs> so that's called a mullet. Yeah, so this is happening. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of. I've just i seen some pictures of you. Like, I'm like, is Willie bringing the. Mm, you know, I, I always got to keep you. Keep you on YouTube. We I still want to be normal. We still got. <laughs> hey, boy, we still have 80,000 of them up here. So if you need one, grab a couple before you leave. American flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have. Uh, yeah. I've been I've been wearing a little bit uh, more to keep the hair back. And Mm. I keep thinking I have a cap on, so I go to grab my cap, and it's not there. Before you know it, you're going to go to the section of your closet that's got size shirt in it again, and we'll bring that back. And flame boots will be back yeah. in. And flame boots are I did retire. They're up in the attic. So. <laughs> They're in the attic. That's yeah. I wore them for something recently. I was dressing up, and God, let's say they were. Can we put them? They're in worn the, out. Can we put them in the tour? Yeah, can we add them? They little. are literally worn out, like they hurt your feet. I remember the first time I saw you in those, you were just walking down the streets of Houston all by yourself, and I was in junior high, and my cousin said, is that Willie? And what are, what's on his feet? What on his feet? And we found Willie in the so middle of Houston. So cousins met in the middle of Houston. All three of us. Willie was just walking down the street. 
We were going to a baseball game. <laughs> Willie wasn't. Crazy. I don't know. We just, just found him. That was in Willie's nomad days. days. Uh, si, you ready to take a nap? Yeah. What you going to put your head on when you I'm get there? I'm going to put my head on my pillow. Ooh. 2.0. 2.0, 2.0, baby. He's going to get on that medium loft, and then it's just going to be all said and done with, because you know why? You're sleeping on America. Thank you. The MyPillow 2.0. You know them. Our friends over at MyPillow. Love them. They've come out with a 2.0 with a temperature regulating technology that's a fabric and not a finish, so it'll stay for the life of the garment. It's made right here in the USA by our friend and fellow patriot, Mike Lindell. Mike Lindell. We need to have him on. We should. Free invite, Mike. Come on down, big Mike. Do whatever you got to do. But look, Mike invented my pillow. It had everything you could want in a pillow. And now, 20 years later, he's discovered a new technology that makes my pillow even better. The my pillow 2.0 has the patented adjustable fill of the original my pillow, but with brand new fabric that is made with temperature regulating thread. The my pillow 2.0 is the softest, smoothest, and coolest pillow that you will ever own. My pillow 2.0 with temperature regulating technology is 100% made in the USA. And comes with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. You're not going to need either of them. You're going to love it. going to love great. them just it's like Cy si loves the towels and the slippers and the sheets and all the stuff. That's right. All of it. All the products. All of it. Martin, tell them how to get these fantastic products. Well, first, you could come to my house and just look anywhere because they're all over the place. We but use them. We, what if they want their own? But if you want your own pillow and not my pillow... You see what I did there? Yeah. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck to get the all new MyPillow 2.0. Right now, get the all new MyPillow 2.0 and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code duck. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck for a buy one, get one on the MyPillow 2.0. Or if you need to, you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck. Order now. Because when they're gone, where are they at? they gone. You know why I wore the flame boots? You might know this story. We've been waiting for a good reason for a very long time. So I was in, I was at the Santa Monica Pier, and I'm walking by these. It was like a shoe store, but and I and I I just picked up the boot. All right, and I'm looking. Goes, hey, hey, I can give you a good deal. And then I'm like, shoot, why did I pick it up? You know, I'm like, I I don't need a sales pitch and. I'm like, no, no, I'm just looking, I'm just looking. And he said, that's my, he said, those are my Cinderella's, my last pair. And I said, yeah, cool. You know, and I said, I'm not interested. And then the, he looks at me and he goes, you put those boots on, you'll be on fire. <laughs> just like that. And I thought, ooh. <laughs> like, and so I looked at Corey and she said, you will never wear those. If you buy them, you're never going to wear them. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and I wore them. Totally normal thing to do. 14,000 times. You wore them every to prove day. Her wrong because she said I would never wear them. Then well, I wore them. I Ow. think the biggest question there is how much did those cost? $80. Okay. That ain't bad. 20 of that went to Harley Davidson. Yeah. I mean, they were the last <laughs> pair. Like, like yeah. they were like, um, they were discounted. That's real. You're on fire. Wait a minute. Is that, that's not them. No, nah, because he had flames on the toes. Let's say like Doug Dynasty oh. boots. No, nah, I just Googled your name. Oh, never. Boots. Uh, yeah. See, look, there you are. Wearing there them. There they are. That's oh, them. yeah, that's them. Is that, that them? Yeah, uh-huh. that's 100% them. Do you have a lot of red toed boots? Those aren't them. Those are oh. a different pair I have. <laughs> <laughs> He's well, not- once I started wearing, like, people would give them to me, and there were different versions, and but, but there were there were three different versions of that, like. But the OG they were hard one was, to find. They, was they Harley weren't made Davidson, anymore. right? Yeah, Didn't the originals say, are Harley Davidson. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I thought I remember seeing that logo the on the floors at the airport. They would it's, always laugh, you know, because I'd take I'd have to take them off. And, yeah, the scariest part is they through. made them for babies. They have little flame boots for babies. Yeah, with the American flag on them. Do they still have them? Oh, you can get on one on eBay right now for 17.95. I got two kids. That might nice. be kind of cool. I have there one. Carter had a pair for a minute. <laughs> right there. Buy it now. Born to hunt. New in box. Apparently he didn't sell all of them. Willie's baby biker boots. Oh, am I con- are we connect that anyway? I think you Well, it's got to be cuz it's got the Duck Commander logo on it. Does it? So yeah, apparently that was a licensee a, at a, some uh, point. 
That was oh, a okay. way back when product. Oh, that's awesome. That's tight. I need to buy those. <laughs> yeah, you got grandkids now. Grandkids, yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carter doesn't wear his anymore. So I love Willie. Saw my ever. Willie saw the boys the night first time, basically since they were born at size deal. And the first thing he said was, "My goodness, look at those heads." <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I didn't want it to be awkward, but like. <laughs> <laughs> totally normal thing to say when meeting somebody's baby. Those are the two biggest heads I've ever seen. I mean, they are. Hello. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Hello. I'm on the last button here. <laughs> like a oh, man. A couple of coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's like, hilarious. Oh, it's like a bowling ball on top of a onesie. Yeah. It's funny because Jackson's is like the 99th percentile in that size. I'm like, yeah, buddy. You got well, that. yeah, I mean. I, you got I, that one on us, pal. I was assuming you weren't going to be like, do they really have big heads? Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was I'm, noticeable. This is shocking. They measure them every two months, so I'm well aware of what they, <laughs> of how they're progressing. I but. saw them at the birthday party. The birthday party. I saw Johnny D at the birthday party. Was yeah, like, oh, that was the party. That was a happening party. Oh, no. Oh, no. There was oh, a yes. whole bunch oh, yes. of people oh, there. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I made a bunch. Yeah, I wasn't expecting quite that big of a celebration. Philip's like, yeah, we're just having a small little thing for Si, and I pull up, and there's like, <laughs> it, it looked like somebody actually parked the vehicles. I was like, Philip what? invited my uh, Philip invited my cousin from Atlanta. <laughs> well, we're Everybody I talked to was not from here. Yeah. Oh, no. Do you know Heath? Who? Heath. Heath who? Heath, my Arthur. cousin. Heath Arthur. Oh. See, but he was invited. Philip was, was the he was the guy. Philip was flinging out them invites. Yeah, Heath Phillip, was invited. Philip don't care. He, he texted me. He said, "Am I supposed to go to this?" I said, "When was the last time you talked to Sai?" He goes, "Man, I moved like twelve years ago." <laughs> Man, I, I'd like to it's see a good it. place to yeah. catch up. Bring it on back. Hello. There was a lot of people I hadn't seen in a long time. It was fun. It was like a reunion. Old Mountain Dog was there. I saw Mountain Dog. Yeah, there were. A and lot I of thought people. Mountain Dog had got looked like he gained a little weight. No, he, nothing wrong. Just Kabuya. He been so, he been on that seasoning. So that. he told me. So, so before I could even say anything, he told me he just lost like forty pounds. And you thought oh, he, he gained he, weight? He tried to hit you with the "Don't insult me." <laughs> Here's where I've been. <laughs> no, he told me he's lost him, and I was like, "Oh, that's odd. It's unbelievable." But but I was thinking like. To me, you there look, was a big gap. I I don't well, know when the last time I saw him was. He just looked. Like, he just kind of disappeared. Did he, he moved? Right. He moved yeah, down. he's he's living up above Knoxville. Now, he's living where Kyle is. Like they're essentially neighbors. Hang out, yeah. yeah, him and Kylie. Kylie's That's back. where I just was. I yeah. Just, I just flew into Chattanooga. Did we ever go to Chattanooga? No. I don't think I'd ever been to that. You well, nice you might have been. Nice town. Yeah. We never went to. Chattanooga. And y'all went to eat at Aaliyah, right? A little restaurant downtown. Did y'all eat. We didn't. Did you? Oh, know him? yeah. I, I told it? Parker that. I figured Kyle. that's where y'all no, were we eating. We stayed in. Um, Cleveland, and there uh, was a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse yeah. that we ate there. Yeah, a Ruth's Chris. But he mentioned that, and I'm like, you know, I'm I'm not into driving. It. I'm like, yeah. If there's something, well, I didn't here, realize y'all were quick, like, I didn't realize y'all were staying in Cleveland. I was like, I, if it's, yeah, I in, spoke there. Yeah, in Chattanooga. The church and, yeah, caught up with Kylie. Kylie. Downtown Chattanooga got a place called Aaliyah that is. Oh, it's legit. Oh well, crap! Now good. I got to go back. Yeah, I might as well. I hear it's I nice. thought it was awesome. It's, Nice area. Mm-hmm. And then he went over to Nashville and, Nashville. and then flew <laughs> this. <laughs> you would have loved this one of my crazy. <laughs> I would LaRoche. not have loved I'll just say Adam LaRoche. So, that, oh, Lord. so I'm supposed to fly out early the next morning to go to Dallas um, to do press for the musical, his story. So I was you got a, a musical? Concern. Yeah. That's why I have the purple one down. So, um, so we're pressed. I'm at my hotel room. Adam comes by, drops all his stuff off there, and he goes, "You're leaving the morning." I said, "Yeah." He said, "No, no, no. We got a plane. We'll just drop you off in Dallas." And I was like, "Ah, oh, sweet. You know, <laughs> good. We'll be yeah. there an hour, right?" That's way better. <laughs> so, Unless you're the third drop off. <laughs> so we were going to a party, and I was like, "We cannot stay long because I've got to get up." And he said, "Oh no, we stay way longer than like." <laughs> So we start leaving like closer to midnight with well, a plane. We go out to the plane and it's like, it goes slightly faster than my truck. So we're like, 
Neat. Like my phone's still texting. Like that's how low we are. Uh, y'all, y'all up there about 7,000 feet so, having to look for people like on the interstate. We're going to uh, uh, Addison, Te- like that's where we're dropping you off at. So From Nashville to Texas? Okay. Uh, fast forward. It's <laughs> three in the morning. <laughs> we're coming in. You know? <laughs> he draws me off and I got to get an Uber at three in the morning. I got like... Three hours to sleep. I got to do press, but we we pulled it off. How long was that flight? It was long. It That's was like, like had to yeah. be three and, and a half, half hours. Yeah. yeah, it was a long. It was a job. <laughs> so we got a plane. I got you. Go slightly there was, faster there than there was my no truck. Bathroom. <laughs> no pea sucker ten thousand. It wasn't a pea sucker ten thousand. <laughs> well, no, you didn't have to. You just roll down the window. Up yeah, there. Cool. I mean for real. Just almost, stop at the Bucky's, land that up, thing on the know? interstate, and pull in. <laughs> I always wondered why some of them planes had the little roll down window on it. No, I know. Oh uh, man. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we have a musical coming out, Johnny D, that's going to be in uh, just north of Dallas. It's called His Story. And, yeah, I was doing the uh, press and promotion for it, and uh, it's going to be awesome. You have Cy singing on it? He was in a band. No. You know? Cy's not on it? No, He's the Cy's most music- on it. musically talented person we got. So these are uh, just Cy, what they, <laughs> Cy, these are what they call in the business professionals. Professional, yeah, professional. Well, Cy was a professional. Dancers. He got paid. Mm-hmm. That that makes him a professional, right? Yeah, he got you're paid a professional golfer, sir. When is this True. coming out? Uh, next month. Uh, okay, I can't wait to see this. You're coming over. When do you when do you want to come over? May 18th is when the big one is. Uh, a theatrical event. Two thousand years in the making. Okay, who's who's his story? I it's, believe that uh, would be Jesus someone Christ. Someone called Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, using, I'm using I'm context wondering. clues with okay. the cross and the crown of thorns. And, is, thorns. and it's a musical. It's oh, a musical. <laughs> okay. It's a, you'll actually love it, Zai. So you're, you're, so you're in. We're taking you over. May 18th. You in. <laughs> May 18th. Yeah, performances start the 5th. Uh, they'll have a couple of weeks. Of, and then uh, so we'll be over to. So it's a tent. So we bought a tent. It is in a ginormous tent. Really? And the stage like has an elevator. It's pretty it's pretty this ain't no rinky dinks on this. This is this is legit. <laughs> it's got projectors on the ceiling so you can like it's almost like being in a planetarium or something. What? Cool. Have you seen it? Like done. No, it's not done. I mean okay. we're I was there. That's where I was that's that's why I was there Tuesday. So I saw the first five songs, so they're already – they've been rehearsing about two weeks. and This new chord plays over the TV. Sorry, I was watching a YouTube. Look it up on YouTube. There yeah, you it's hisstory.com. Yeah, it's, it's – Hisstorythemusical.com. Uh, Tickets on sale at Ticketmaster. There you go. You've always Corey wanted to say that, ain't you? We're producers. Because, you know, when you think of Broadway-style musicals, you think of Willie Robertson. <laughs> Totally normal thing. That's just normal. So, uh, what Troopy told, the director sent me a video of it, and he said, check this out. Let me know what you think. And I watched it, and I'm like bawling, crying. I was like, call Corey. And she was, I said, we got to help with this thing. This is unbelievable. That's cool. Hey, so I it's kind of it. like a smash together of like Hamilton and The Chosen. I haven't seen Hamilton. I enjoy yeah. the Chosen. Yeah, Chosen's good. I I, I got nothing to go. Is off it like of a Hamilton. smash together between the Lion King and the Chosen? Do you like the Lion King? Love it. Yes. <laughs> what about Wicked? But instead of huh? What about Wicked? Oh, I, I saw that. No, one. there's some Wicked Wait, too. Yeah, because yeah. well, Satan's in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man, this is wild. <laughs> Let, let's take. I our... wins a, Hey, I just want. I want to think about this before the break. I want to know the last musical Cy went and saw in Broadway. Okay, just think about it. In Broadway? I know, I know there's a bunch, yeah. Uh, think about it. Lion King, fourth grade. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. <laughs> anyway, right, you have the question. Hillary Renee, 92. I'm guessing she's about 30 years old because she was born in 92, or her favorite number is 92. Favorite thing, Willie, about being a grandpa? Grandpa. Tell me about the good old day. <laughs> uh, when the line between right and wrong. Oh, sorry. No, Johnny D, you know the judge? Oh, crazy. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> but I knew Sergeant York the other day, and I'm hanging my hat on that one. I, you know, I don't know what the 
what was the question? What's my favorite, favorite thing about, thing about being a grandpa? Seeing them, like seeing little tiny well, I was, I people, just knew like, it had to be they go home. No, that's what everybody would say, but I don't, I don't like. Them. I thought I mean, it. Was, I don't want them just to go home. I, they can hang around all the time. So, just seeing little, you know, tiny versions of the next generation is awesome because they look like they remind me so much of their of their parents who would be my kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, that's just like John Luke, or that's just like Sadie, and they all got these little different personalities. They were all last night. Oh, uh, were they all there? No. Two of them were, but a lot of them were. I had what they call, I believe, an early birthday. So I know it's about early birthday because I won't be here on my birthday. So, um, so it was an early birthday oh, dinner. Honey. Bella cooked a uh, delicious roast, um, slightly not as tender as probably, you know, I think she needed medium oil. Yeah. 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 Medium oil plus or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, don't put the plus on it. But it was delicious, the, and the kids were over, and so, yeah, and I messed with them, so, yeah. My favorite thing is just messing with them, and uh, I like getting them to the point to where either Coy or their parents say, okay, let's stop doing that because they're getting out of control. <laughs> so that's what I like. Totally normal. I like just getting them all worked up, that, that and they're just walking away, and then they're like, okay, <laughs> now deal with them. I get them all worked up, and then say, y'all can leave now. <laughs> You may leave. Uh, so that's the answer. That's a great question. Thank you. You are. How many grandkids do you got? I got five. 47? Five, son. <laughs> yeah, well, and they're one. over a lot. I mean, they're. Well, they all live. Every the night, somebody's over. Yeah. And you're about to have number six. Man, it's close, right? I got another one, too. Huh? I got another one, too. I think I saw it announced. So, yeah. <laughs> So there was, uh, I'm about to have seven. Oh. They popping out kids left and right. Who ah. else have one? Uh, John Luke. Oh. He, Another one. He's been here all week. Ain't even brought it up. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw it on the computer. Yeah. I was like, I hope I didn't know. <laughs> so yeah, but Sadie's due uh, pretty soon. So yeah. Yeah, there you go. But they're all awesome. Yeah, it's just, it's I'm just dubs. Awesome. They call me dubs. Dubs. Honey says, hi, dubs. <laughs> That kid's funny. She's, She's funny. funny. I'll give her Hi, that. Dabs. The other night at his birthday party, she she had me rolling. Uh, she's she's fun. Until she took my hat and said mine. Yeah, mine. Yeah. yeah well, there's like a lot of there's a lot of mine between all of them. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of mine. I'm like, hey, hey, yeah. got to share. Yeah, got to share and care. What else you got? What Johnny else you got Diddy? there, John D? All right, from Love the Outdoors. One piece of advice Willie would give to someone who's running a small business. Uh, I would say love the outdoors. <laughs> no, that would be bizarre. Um, one piece of advice on running a small business. One piece. Number one piece. Um, don't rush it. Oh, not the normal answer. I would have thought. I'll give you. I'm one. not a normal guy. I I'll give you. Well, one. I think people try to rush it. Prepare. To work your butt off. Okay, so says the man that's never had a small business. So look, right. uh, look. I've watched, every day. I've watched those that have <laughs> run the business. <laughs> he that okay. He doesn't got that finger. <laughs> no, he was part of the small <laughs> business. Watch out now. <laughs> and somebody worked their butt Just off. Just because I didn't run it, okay, I have watched You still them. worked your butt off. Uh, you, because hey, the, just because hey. the other five people that uh, worked their hey, butt I off. I think I can speak from Is that as truth in that what I said? 100%. Yeah. All uh, right. But I think, I mean, if you don't have that, you don't need to be in small business. But I do think people think it's going to happen really fast. And I think for us at Duck Commander, it took I don't know. years. Yeah. So yeah. you can't rush it. You, as long as you're happy with it, be content and then uh, see what happens and let it breathe. And um, yeah, just don't rush it. Like, but you got to enjoy doing it. And have faith. Honey hole. I mean, how long is that yeah. thing been around? And have, have faith in yourself. I'm talking. Yeah, 91 for the honey hole. And what? Well, you're a small business worker. What's your what's your best piece of advice to love the outdoors? Well, that is the first piece of advice. Um <laughs> love the outdoors. Oh, I, work your butt off's a good one, but if you weren't planning on that, you shouldn't have got in it in the first place. Um listen to those that have done it before you. Listen to those that have done it before. You might be in some, in some weird business. I doubt it. Most everything has been done before. But whether it's retail or something like that, I don't know what 
your business is, but I learned a lot from Willie. I've learned a lot from Big Dave. I've learned a lot from a lot of people, and I just take all the knowledge and store it up here and then just show up every day and see what happens. And see what happens. Take it slow. Take it slow is probably the best advice. Which learn how to kind of sounds like yeah. Learn how to do Correct. every job in your small business, mm. all That's of them. I cleaned the shiner tank yesterday. I've done almost every job up here. Yep. Name the job I haven't done. Bookkeeping. Nope, I've done that. I mean, I would. He didn't do my job. Reed man. Reed none man. Of, none of them did. Hey, I've done your well, job. I've, there's a bigger general part of <laughs> part of that. Making duck calls. I've never made the duck calls. <laughs> 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 I've done every job up here. I mean, I would consider bookkeeping back when, you know, oh, it yeah. was called bookkeeping. You know, it was just the, the Account, folder yeah. of accounts yeah. that we had. It was, uh, it was the seven POs. But, yeah, I've actually never made the duck calls. Yeah. Well, I remember when I started here, he said, you said, y'all make them, I'll sell them. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked well. I said, deal. Deal. All right, deal. last one real fast. Eric asks, is Uncle Si still alive? I don't. Nope, he passed away, sadly. Uh, and we yeah. wrapped him in the sweet shirt. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we wrapped him up like a mummy, and uh, we put him on display in the museum. Uh, so he's right. been there for about hey. two months, but go he's beginning to turn. Yeah, he's go beginning to the tour. Uh, he's beginning to swell, and the buttons won't <laughs> hold anymore. So. <laughs> All right, we got to go. really ask his uncle's last. We still get alive. it every time, and it was the last one. I Apparently, saw. there's rumors everywhere. That oh no, we si. need to clone Sa. Si. We should clone you just to make another Sa si like you, just to <laughs> just to fill in for other things. I work. told my yeah. wife, I said, "Hey, you need to mummify me. And just keep me around. Taxidermy. Keep me around. Yeah, I wonder how much around. they charge the taxidermy Sa." <laughs> I'll pitch in it's taxidermy. Isn't it? As long as he's got some bells and a teacup, right. I'll hey. I'll pay for hey. part hey. of it. There you go. All right, here's your Bible verse. Ready? Where do you think I'm going? His story. First Peter two eleven. Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and exiles. Some versions have aliens and strangers, aka not normal people Terrible. to abstain from sinful desires, which wage war against your soul, live such good lives among the pagans that, that though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us. Jesus calls us not to be normal. There you go. All right, All right. let's get out of here. <laughs> we'll be back. I'll be later.